Currently, the person I'm thinking about the most right now would, would be Dom Famularo. And the reason is because I love Dom. I love what he does. Todd Zuckerman here on the road, and what can be said about Dom that hasn't been said um, a thousand times by a thousand different people? Uh, you know, he, he was the MC at you know, just about every drum festival in the world, and I've probably been in seven, eight, nine countries with him, or he's the MC in different drum festivals, and just was always a, a you know, clearly a, just a, a beacon of positivity and inspiration and smiles and hugs and laughs and i can share one thing um we did a drum festival in guatemala city guatemala in 2016 and i showed up and you know said hey, is dom around and uh, I, as i remember someone said oh, he's, he's got he's dealing with some sort of family emergency he won't be joining us tonight so i see dom in the lobby the next morning a lobby call you know 10 a.m to go over to set up and say, hey, Dom, is everything okay? He goes, ah, you know, my father passed away last night. Like, do you need to go home? Do you, are you, and he goes, no, no, I, you know, I knew this might happen. I, you know, I, I've, I, yeah, yeah, said my piece. I said, said goodbye when, when I, when I left and uh, proceeded to regale me with the incredible tales of his father, um, some tales from uh, World War II and him inventing things uh, for the fire department that are universally used now that have saved maybe millions of lives. Uh, and he went about the whole day as Dom would, uh, smiles, handshakes, hugs. And I, you know, I kept looking at him to make sure he was okay. And, uh, and he was, and I thought, what a great way to honor someone who, who passed like his father. You only go through that experience once, the death of a, the death of a parent, the death of your father. And I, that's inspirational to me of how he handled it with such grace and, uh, beauty and a, a celebration of his life, regaling tales of his, of his dad with a smile. So I think we should all do the same for him. We should celebrate him and, uh, and be grateful that uh, we were in his orbit. So cheers, Dom. Thanks for everything. Hey, it's Kurt Piscara, Kirky B, and I just wanted to give my condolences to the family and friends of Dom Famolaro. If there was a name that described the entire drum community um it would be him it would be Don Famolaro he that was a dude that just loved drums and he lived it he breathed it and he shared it with all of us god bless you Dom and um godspeed and it was so great to have shared the times we had together in the interview you did with me and um just seeing you at the nam shows all those years and just always holding court telling jokes and um like that god bless you i met don Famulero, i believe 1983 when i would go to new jersey to see my dear friend joe loria from loria music him and jerry ricky were very good friends with Don Famulero, and I believe they were very instrumental in getting him hooked up with Tama at the beginning of his career. Then the next time I saw Dom, I saw him at that Thoroughbred Drum Show, I believe 1986, and it was unbelievable. I, I cannot believe the fire that he had on his playing and the preciseness and the way he controlled the instrument. The other thing that blew my mind was how he controlled the English language. I had no idea he was gonna be making a living, not also, only as a player, but also by motivating the planet. We're gonna miss you, Don. Hi, this is Fred Dinkins. I'm uh, sending my condolences to the Famalero family and all the other drummers out there that Dom touched. Uh, Dom was one of a kind, that's, that's, the only way to put it. Mr. Energy is what I called him. I recently had the pleasure of studying with Dom for about a year and a half 
and he took my technique ability and understanding of technique to a whole nother level that I thought I would never be able to reach. So I just want to say rest in peace, my friend. I love you, man. And just last week, you gave me an inspiring video uh, to push me to keep going. And you didn't have to do that. As sick as he was, he did that. That's Don Familaro. And again, uh, to all you fellow drummers out there, uh, keep keep his uh, vision alive. Keep it going, onward and upward. Hi, Don Familaro here. And I must tell you, I had the chance of working with Fred Dinkins, taking me through the Accents and Rebounds book. Absolutely fantastic how fast he picked everything up. He understands the technique, he understands the book, and this really is the vision of George Lawrence Stone in his book, Accents and Rebounds, which was the follow-up to Stick Control. Fred's got this down. Fred Dinkins is the future of drumming. Fred, are you keep this going? I'm with you 100%. You know, if someone comes to me who wants to learn technique, I start with with letting them understand movement. And that movement might be how that stick lays in your hand. And Papa Joe Jones showed me about flipping the stick in your hand and just catching the stick naturally. And how, when you catch the stick naturally without squeezing it, that's your technique. That's how you hold the stick. So that's about grip. So once you understand grip, now it comes down to understanding movement. And the first movement that I learned from Joe Morello was this free stroke. It's a rebound. So I want to get the stick to rebound. So it's this concept right here. I'm dribbling the stick like I would dribble the basketball. Now, if I'm playing it from my wrist when I throw it down, that stroke is one free stroke, and I played it from a full stroke position. Now, if I play it from a half stroke position, I throw it down, the stick bounces up. If I play it in a low stroke position, I throw it down, the stick bounces back to a half, to a low stroke position. So that concept of the free stroke was all about rebound. When I went to Chapin, I learned this molar movement. That's this whipping motion. But all of a sudden now, now I'm using that whip, and that whip creates that stroke. The rest of the boat, the, the rest of the of the bounces, I'm just kind of like letting them float. So that motion was this molar movement. Then they sent me to Shelly Mann. Well, Shelly Mann studied with Billy Gladstone. Billy Gladstone understood finger technique. So what I'm playing right now, only my fingers are generating that stroke. Now, with that movement of finger movement, wrist movement of free stroke, and then molar whip, those three movements I still teach today that allows each student to understand these are different tools used in different ways on the drum set. Hi, Dennis Chambers here. I just want to express my sympathies for a dear friend, Mr. Don from Laro. Uh, Don was uh, definitely a Definitely a funny guy. I, I've been around him so many times and, you know, shared some, <laughs> shared some special moments that uh, every time we got together, we talk about certain things. And um, also, you know, being at some drum clinics and, you know, Dom would just cause havoc and <laughs> cause havoc. <laughs> I'm laughing about it, sorry. But just, Don, he was a beautiful guy. I am definitely, definitely going to miss him. Yeah, I'm going to miss him. Bye for now. Dennis out. Don was such an inspiration to all. The kindest man, the biggest smile. Everyone loved him. I hope he knew what he had done for all the drummers and just everyone around him with the, with his big smile. I will never forget when he called me and asked me to be part of the Come Together video that he was involved in. I was just so honored and really so shocked 
but I appreciated his kindness and I did it. So I hope that he is in a good place now and he is happy. Go Dom. I, along with the rest of the drum community, am saddened to hear the news about the passing of the great Dom Famulero. I was lucky enough to know Dom for 30 years or more actually, and um, really became close to him when um, Alfred Music became the distributor for the Wisdom um, Percussion Catalog. I know he will be sorely missed, but we all take great pride in knowing that his legacy will live on forever. Love you, Dom. Dom, we do a thing on the show we call Word of Advice. Would you leave a few words of advice for the up-and-comer guys, even the guys at the next level, but that are trying to get traction in this game? Would you leave them a few words of advice? Well, absolutely, Sharon. There are several, several things that we have to take in. If, we want, if we're serious about this art form, I always say keep your passion burning. First thing is keep that strong desire to want to be a constant student. I am 68 years young. I've been playing drums professionally since the age of 12. That's 56 years of doing this. And I still, to this day, am a student of the art form. I'm still tracking down different drum books and buying different drum books. I probably have about 3,000 drum books in my studio here. It's incredible because that knowledge and information, when it comes into me, it excites me and I keep learning. And year after year, I grow and I change. And if I can keep growing, there's an excitement in that, that I'm continuing to learn and change and create new ideas that I didn't have before. The first thing is about keeping yourself inspired. Second thing is about hard work. You got to put the hours in. There's no magic pill that you can take that's going to give you good technique. There's no magic pill that you take that's going to make you a great funk player like the great David Garibaldi from Tower of Power. You got to put the time and effort into the craft to study it, research it, practice it, and listen to as much music as you can. Listening is a very important part of the process of learning. And the last part of this of the concept is to play in as many bands as you can. Put together bands, jam bands in your garage, get together with your friends, keep on playing, keep on experimenting, keep trying these ideas that you're working on, and keep surrounding yourself with like-minded people, your tribe, your tribe, people that like the music you like, people that are positive and that support you to want to move forward. If there's negativity and someone says, man, you, you're not that good, you can't make it, well, you know, get rid of that person, move on. And believe in yourself and trust yourself. There were many people along the way that when I said I wanted to be a a drummer that could play the drums and make a living playing drums and travel around the world doing this. When I told that to people at the age of 14, they would laugh in my face. Oh man, it's never going to happen. Well, those people, I just said, thank you very much. They said, why are you thanking me? I said, because you just put more fire on my passion to learn more. I'm going to push harder. So we have to be the the leaders of our destiny that we have the control over and that everybody can do. Hey, Sharon, Pat Brown here, formerly Promark. Um, thanks for giving me the opportunity to uh, participate in this uh, in an industry full of characters. Dom sure was one of them. Uh, I don't know that I can answer add any more to what's already been said by all the other folks here, probably far more articulately than me. But uh, I shall miss you, Dom. And uh, thanks for the memories. You know, I have to say, honestly, I really didn't have a whole lot of interactions with uh, Dom Famolaro. But every time that I did encounter him, he always had the most amazing attitude, the most amazing smile. He was just always bright and bubbly and always had something wonderful, always had something positive to say. It was just really, you know, it was just great being around him. You didn't have to really know him well 
to uh, be around him and appreciate the goodness of his spirit. He will be missed in the physical realm, but he will never be forgotten. Rest in peace, Don Famalaro. Hi, Cindy Black and Santana here, and uh, please excuse the noise, getting ready to take a flight, but I want to take um, just a moment and really express um, my condolences to Dom's family, um, and also my love for him as a being. He was one of the most beautiful spirits that I've met, always just happy and you know, inspiring and encouraging, uh, great musician. Um, and I'm hoping that the drumming community will continue uh, to uh, share the spirit that um, he gave to us and that he shared with us, you know, which was always positivity, encouraging one another, um, and making things fun. Because any time that, that Dom was involved in an event, I felt great immediately because I knew that the event was going to be done well, it's going to be done right and that it was going to be a lot of fun. So I, I, I thank Dom and I love him for all that he was to me as a, a, a friend and drummer and to the whole community. And uh, I just, you know, man, I'm, I'm so sad that uh, he's, uh, he's gone, but I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about the legacy that he left us and the path that he left us to tread. And I know that uh, his next journeys would be incredible and God must have needed another powerful angel uh, to have him by its side. Um, and um, yeah, um, I loved uh, just his whole spirit. So I, I just wanna thank him, Dom, I love you. And uh, my heart goes out to your family, of course. Again, um, Cindy Black and Santana signing out. Um, but uh, thanks for this opportunity to share something about somebody who was so incredible. Don Fomolaro, the most positive, wonderful, beautiful guy. One of, in the in this drumming business, just I'm really shocked today, and I'm I'm not in shock because he's been sick for a while, and he fought the good fight. He was a beautiful guy. God bless Don Famularo. He's may you shine above us, man. All right, brother, we're gonna miss you and we love you. This is Luis Conte. Thank you. Don, first and foremost, thank you for everything. As the word had come down that Dom had passed, my feelings of disappointment and loss were overwhelming, to say the least. Though somehow, I knew if anybody could find light and loss, it was Dom Famularo. This morning, reading Dom's last letter, it's abundantly clear and not lost on him that his time was cut short. Having so much work to be done, I'm not sure I can come up with a specific story about Dom and Dom time as it was known, but being fortunate enough to be a part of so many events and drummer hangs, I had lots of Dom time. And uh, those are my memories. Suffice it to say, if you knew Dom, you were Dom's friend. Uh, and he, he made sure you knew that. Dom 2.0 was honored at a surprise event at this past NAMM show, put together by Jules Follett and her team. Thank you, Jules. Even in his recovery mode, he made a point to speak to the crowd and remind us that our work is never done. I could go on about Dom, but um, there are far too many stories to be shared yet from friends, fans, family, students, drummers, musicians. There's just way too much going on there. Thank you, Dom, for that. I can leave this note by saying, Dom, you love me a better person, more inquisitive, positive, and caring. You've touched the very essence of being human while expanding our need to make the world a better place for those around us. And I think that's the bigger point. You've left a large footprint that we collectively must pick up the slack 
loved by you and continue the work that you began. Onward and upward, my friend. Love and gratitude to you, Dom Famularo. You've lit a fire that can't be extinguished, and for that, we're all forever grateful and committed to moving forward. It is indeed our move. Much love and support to Charmaine, Dominic, John, and Max. Thank you. I had the opportunity to meet uh, Don Famularo at the Winter NAM convention back in 2017. And that was a big moment for me. That was one of the highlights of me being at that particular convention. You know, just being able to talk to him and letting him know that I had been following his career um, since around the age of eight or nine and always admired the um, the ambassador he was, especially for drums. I mean, all instruments and all musicians, but especially for drummers, you know, and the opportunities that he had created for drummers. And on top of that, just being a phenomenal drummer himself, you know, definitely one of my influences. So, um and, and I'm going to miss him dearly. I'm going to miss him and everything that he's done for the community. What do you think of that title they've given you, The Ambassador? I, you know, I, Sharon, I am so humbled at the highest level. It was given to me, actually, by Ron Spignardi, who was the uh, creator and, event and, 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 and starter of Modern Drummer Magazine. And when I met Ron many times, he would meet me in different parts of the world. He said, Dom, I, I meet you in, in, in the UK, I meet you in Germany, I meet you in Italy, I meet you in China, I meet you in Canada. He says, you're doing all these different clinics. You're like an ambassador for drumming. So he, he did an article on me many, many years ago. And in the article, he just happened to mention, Dom is like a dr drumming's global ambassador because of all the countries he travels to. Well, from that article, it kind of stuck People started calling me Drumming's Global Ambassador. And, and I said, you know, I said, as honored as I am with that title, we all are Drumming's Global Ambassador. Even yourself, Sharon, by doing what you're doing and making this happen, you now become an ambassador of drumming. So it's a title that I'm humbled with, but I want to share with everyone. Tom, I'll miss you, my brother, but I don't think about you enough that you'll always be around. And uh, what you left behind will live on forever. God bless everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, this is James P.J. Spragans from Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, just chiming in on the news of the passing of drumming legend Dom Famularo. Um, he was a great guy. I only met him once and only had a chance to uh, talk with him one time. And this was years ago when I was a freshman in high school. My drum line at Macadori High School, we did this um, drum camp at a local university. I believe it was Sanford University. And he was the instructor there uh, for this drum camp. And I remember him doing some really cool licks on the snare drum. I remember his flams in particular, very, very powerful flams. But uh, when I did get a chance to speak to him, I remember him being very, very nice and very positive, always smiling. Um, that's what I remember about him, and that's what I will carry with me. And I uh, just want to send up my prayers to his friends and family, and uh, may God bless you all. I'm so very sad. He was a beacon of light. I always knew that uh, through my my moments of seeing him and my brush with him. Um, I, I, I pray for his family. I have no doubt that, um, he will be sorely missed. Uh, I'm very sad and, um, the world has lost a, a very, um, wonderful is, is a silly word, um, a centered, um, guiding force, uh, a, f a force of nature, and I, I um, wish him Godspeed. Hello, Sharon. Thank you for inviting me to this tribute to Dom Femularo. I met Dom Femularo back in 1989 at San Francisco. Uh, he was doing a workshop with Billy Cobham at Guitar Center. 
what a fabulous, fabulous, incredible drummer, great human being. Uh, you'll surely be missed, brother. Love you. Rest in paradise. Okay, so you have to excuse the uh, background sounds, but I'm in between gigs, in between sets here. And I just want to express my uh, my joy and appreciation for knowing Dom from Alaru. And, and uh, he was an inspiration. I mean, he, he, uh, he interviewed me for the Super Sessions and we talked it was the first time i think we had met many years ago briefly but that was the first time we sat and talked and and he was just so devoted to the music to the drums to living your best life he was just that guy just i'm not going to say much more he was just a great guy, great musician, great drummer, and a great inspiration. Thanks for being you, Don. So let me join the chorus. I love Dom Famularo, and I don't know anybody in our business who doesn't. Hello, everyone. My name is Jacoby Gunter, and um, I wanted to say some words about my friend, my mentor, uh, my teacher, Mr. Dominic Famularo. And, you know, to be honest, guys, this is this is very, very hard, um, not only for the drumming community, but um, for me. Um, Dom has taught me so many different things throughout uh, my life um, as a drummer, as a human being, and as a teacher. Um, and I'll be here for years talking about all the lessons he, he has given me. Uh, one thing he has taught me or has taught me um, when you're playing no matter what stage you are you give it all you got again Dom I love you I miss you and I'll see you very soon onward and upward God bless you hi everyone Russ McKinnon here I'm truly honored to be included in this tribute to the great Dom Famularo I had an affectionate title or nickname for Dom. I always called him the Anthony Robbins of drumming. In my opinion, he was perhaps the greatest drumming motivator or cheerleader that ever lived. How could you not want to pick up a pair of sticks and get behind your kit after hearing that man speak? Think of the tens of thousands of people that are playing drums today, either at the professional level or just for the pure joy of it because they saw one of his drum events. Back in the 90s, Dom and I performed dozens of these drum events together, many of them at the big drum festivals across Europe, Canada, and the US. His time on stage was almost always the highlight of the day or the entire weekend. Some of the biggest drumming names in the business would sit on the side of the stage just to hear him speak and play. His energy was absolutely infectious we really had some great times together and shared some great stories and meals. I will sincerely miss the man. Godspeed and play on, Dom. Hey everybody, it's Tony T.C. Cole, man. <sighs> I wanna say a few things about Dom, but uh, he was a good friend and uh, he's going to be missed. He's missed already. He's going to be missed. He's always going to be thought about because he was truly the ambassador of drums and drummers. And I don't know anybody who had more enthusiasm about drumming and drums and just being all around upbeat positive and just always laughing and always talking he, he loved to laugh and he loved to talk and he loved to have fun and he loved he loved people and he was just a good man a good guy and a good friend and i'm gonna miss him and uh it's sad but i know he would want us to be happy and laugh and think of all the fun times that uh we shared together and um it's it's it's, it's really difficult 
when you lose friends like uh, Dom, uh, family members, it's like family. But uh, he was my good friend, and I know he would want us to be happy and, and have good thoughts and make good memories about spending time together. That was the kind of guy he was. So uh, to his family and, his, and everyone, my deepest condolences and uh, rest in peace, Dom. And I know wherever you are right now, you're laughing and you're having a good time and you're happy. And you're not in any pain. So uh, that's really all I got to say. It's really difficult to try to think of something to say, but uh, I can only say what I know in my heart about Dom. Love him and miss him. And uh, let's always think about him and have a smile on our face and our hearts. TC. Um, Dom, I don't necessarily know where to start. Um, I just want to say you have been an amazing role model and just individual in my life. You've known me since I was 11 years old, you know, me and my father. And you have been a staple in the drumming community and you will absolutely be truly missed. Everything that you've done, the, the mark that you've made, the impact, it will never be forgotten. Um, our last interview was nothing short of amazing. You know, every time I see you, and anytime anyone sees you, you always make the the room light up with that smile and your, your charisma and your character, your aura. It's, uh, it's unmatched. So I'm just here to really give my condolences to your family. And I know you will truly be missed. Um, I guess I just want to say I love you. And, um, just wish I could have had that one last goodbye, but you know, I know you're in a better place and uh, heaven just gained another angel. Much love, Dom. Dom, what would you want your legacy to be? Well, oh, Sharon, great question. Um, to me, I, I was asked recently for an interview what I thought the essence of life was. And they said, I know, Don, this is a difficult question. It could take a long time. I said, not really. It's actually very simple to me. The essence of life is to matter, to make a difference. Simple as that. If I can use my drumming skill and my ability to inspire others and bring them to a higher level of enjoyment through music, that's that's, that's great. That's my essence. If I can write a drum book when I'm long gone and some young kid picks up that drum book and goes through it and gets an idea out of it from my grave, just like the great Jimmy Chapin. Jim Chapin's book is here. I just had a lesson with a kid and took him through the book. And this kid said, wow, this stuff is really cool. Well, this book was written in 1948. This is a young kid of about 15 years old. And Jim, has been, Jim died in 2009. So he hasn't been with us for well over a decade, but yet his vision, his legacy still continues. So if I can reach people and give them joy through the art of music, it, that would be pretty powerful for my legacy to have. Wow. And I, I just know that 50 years from now, they're going to say, Dom showed it to me. Dom taught me. <laughs> Dom, let me say thank you so very much for being on the Extraordinary Drummer Show. Sharon, thank you so much, man. I think what you're doing is a great service. You are an ambassador to what's happening. You are, you do great research and the great questions. And this is the message that when, again, I'm long gone, if someone watches this message and listens to it and gets a little bit of inspiration, we, together, you and I, we've done our job. Sure. Will you help me wave goodbye to all the fans, Tom? Absolutely, guys. Enjoy, man. Stay well. Happy, happy, healthy. Go out there and get them and give it all you got.
<laughs> Thank you, Tom. Ha, ha, ha.